It has been a while, but I am finally back and something crazy on the sun is happening. Now there is a humongous sunspot on the sun right now that you can even see with the naked eye. You can use solar film or solar glasses that are left over from the solar eclipse if you still have them. And you can see it with your naked eye. Just got home, it is finally clear out. It has been cloudy for the past three weeks. So I'm hoping that uh, I can capture the sunspot. Usually I use my Skywatcher Evolux 62ED, but today I need more power and for that, Ugh. calling on my Power Seeker 127. This is a telescope that I uh, basically took off of its old mount, Astro modified it, put a fan on the back to keep that dew away, and mounted it on my trusty tracker. Most of the time when I use my tracker, it is very wobbly because of how heavy it is, but hopefully I can pull her line and leave the telescope and hopefully everything goes fine. I had to remove the back plate on my reflector so that I could get some of that hot air into the telescope to balance out the dew. Today is the day, it is finally clear. I'm gonna bring everything outside and hopefully everything goes good. All right, so I'm carrying my big telescope downstairs. I have all my stuff set up. So we're gonna go look at the sun real quick. Okay, so it's very hot out. We have everything set up here. So usually you'd see a lot more wires, but the only wire I have is from this battery pack that's running to my fan back here, uh, just in case that dew does come up because this telescope is probably cold. I hope the sun's heating it up and it doesn't cause any uh, crazy fog. Yeah, it's not collimated at all. So hopefully this goes great. I don't know. Let's go turn on the solar mode on my thing. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the fan here. Here, let me flip the camera. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. All right, so we're all set up. Let's go look at the sun. All right, so we're pointed. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. Huge sunspot. And uh, yeah, so we're just pointed at the sun right now. Everything's going great. Uh, it's very, very out of collimation. So I need to fix that tonight. Uh, very, very beautiful out. It's been cloudy for the past, uh, I'd say three weeks. Get out of here, bug. Yeah, so it's finally time to get out and shoot. Did not want to waste this opportunity, especially because it's clear and there's a humongous sunspot on the sun. I do like having the addition of this fan back here. So now that I can use this thing in the summer for imaging those deep sky objects such as planetary nebulae and galaxies. I think that we uh, got some pretty good rough polar alignment because we have stayed on that target for a good while. It has not moved yet. Yeah, look at that sunspot, it's huge. Now, I'm not sure if it's because I'm not collimated or because I removed a small amount of spacing from the mirror and the back plate, but the focus is very, very small. Now, this is in focus. Do you see how small that little gap there is? That is small. So I might need to do some adjustments or collimate it, but uh, yeah, I just got finished taking photos. All right, so it is finally dark and uh, I got my photo back and it looks so good. The sunspot is absolutely huge. I really believe that it's over a hundred times the size of Earth. Using that reflector that I have is really a game changer in planetary astrophotography. So yeah, cloudy tonight, so I'm not gonna be outside other than now. Until next time, clear skies everybody, and I'll see you guys soon. Oh my god, it's like so pink. Later that night, something spectacular happened. Due to that massive solar storm on the sun, we had auroras down to the northwest part of Texas. Now that is very, very far from the northern pole and my sky was glowing pink. Now this was a once in a lifetime kind of thing and I'm so happy that it happened to me and I could share it with you guys. Until next time, clear skies.